So hello everyone. I am so excited for today's video. This is something I've been wanting to film for so long and be able to do. These are videos that I absolutely love watching. So today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures. So this is something that I love doing. I've been editing my pictures for Instagram for as long as I've had it. I've had several methods that I've used over the years, but this is the one that I've really found that I've stuck with that works for me and can make your pictures look really, really good. So I always have people ask me how I edit my pictures, what apps I use. People send me their pictures for them to edit, which I love doing. So yeah, this video is going to talk about everything. Before I start off, you're going to need to download two apps. You're going to need to download Visco and Lightroom. I swear by those apps. I've tried out many different editing apps and those two are my absolute favorite so go ahead and download those and I picked out two pictures today that I'm going to be editing they're both for my vacation this summer so I'm going to show you all how I edited those and yeah all right so the first picture I'm going to be editing is this picture that I took in Utah this summer it's just of me next to some mountains that were super pretty this was in Zion I think so yeah I'm going to start editing that all right so I'm screen recording right now and the first thing I'm going to do is open up Visco. This is the first part of the editing process. People always ask me like, do you have a preset you use? Like, what do you use? Um, I don't really use a preset. I kind of do just to kind of like set a common tone throughout my Instagram feed. I'll kind of show you how I do that. So I'm going to import the picture, which you can see. And then I'm going to go to these two lines right here. I'm going to hit that. And then you can already see where I favorited the filter that I use. Um, I use the one called A6. I'm actually a Visco X member, which means I can get all of the filters for, I don't remember how much it is a year, but I believe that this filter does come free with the Visco app. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it on like 2.5, so like barely nothing. So once I do that, because this picture is a little bit darker, I'm gonna turn the exposure up just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna turn it up maybe like 0.5. If your picture is darker, it's always easier to adjust the exposure just a little bit in Visco before you take it to Lightroom so that it makes editing in Lightroom a lot easier. That's just a tip that I learned. So I'm going to save that to my camera roll and then I'm going to go over to Lightroom and I'm going to import that picture for my camera roll. And the first thing I do is always adjust the exposure because that really kind of sets the tone for your picture. I like my pictures to be very, very bright. So this is something that definitely helps me. So I'm going to turn it up. I normally just kind of turn it up and down and kind of play with it until I see something I like. So I think for this one, I like, I think I'm going to do 0.85. I'm going to start off with that. So the next thing I do is adjust the highlights. So I'm going to... You can see as I'm adjusting the highlight, it is making it a little bit brighter. It's more subtle though. So I think I'm gonna put that on five. And then the shadows. I edit every picture differently, but they all kind of come together. So this is something that kind of helps it come together is the shadows. So I typically turn the shadows up, but somewhere between 15 and 25. I think for this one, I'm gonna do 20. This one also helps to kind of not make it as dark and get that kind of aesthetic look that a lot of people really want. And then next I'm going to adjust the whites. This is going to take the whites of the picture and make it brighter, which is also going to help make your picture brighter. So I'm going to adjust that and make that on like 15. And then the blacks. Adjusting the blacks is also going to help get rid of those darker tones in your picture and make it brighter. So I'm going to take that up. I'm going to do that on 20 for this one. So next, my favorite part of editing is adjusting the color. This is so, so much fun. So I'm gonna go, you can see that I'm gonna go to color and then I'm gonna go up to mix up here. So you can see on here that there's a whole rainbow of colors right here. So the first color that I always adjust is the blue. So you can see the blue in my jacket and the blue in the sky is a little bit dark. I personally don't really like my blues to be dark. I like them to be more of like an aqua color. So I'm going to take, I'm gonna hit that darker blue and I'm going to turn that hue down. You can see where it's kind of like a greenish tone. This is what's going to make the blue more aqua. So I'm going to turn that down. I think I'm going to do 35 for this one. But then you can still see it's not super dark. But I like my blues to be like brighter. So if you want to make any color brighter, that's where you're going to turn up the luminance. So the luminance is just down here. 
you're gonna take that and you're gonna turn it up. So I think for this, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the luminance on, I'm gonna do it on 50. Um, and then the saturation, you can always adjust if you want your blues to be more blue or less blue or more saturated or less saturated. Um, it's really a personal preference for me. Sometimes I do like my blues to be a little bit more saturated, so I think I'm gonna turn that up. I think I'm only gonna do it on five, just to give that a little bit. So the next thing I'm gonna adjust is the greens because there's a lot of greenery in here. There's the trees and then there's the green on the mountains. So I don't like my greens to be like a Christmas tree green. I like them to be more of like a yellow green, I guess you could say. Um, more of like, think of like a fallish kind of green. That's what I really like. So then I'm going to make the green a little bit more yellow. So I'm gonna turn that down. I'm gonna turn that to about negative 30. And then I always adjust the luminance to make it brighter. So put the luminance on 50. And then next there is a lot of orange in this picture. And what I'm about to tell you is a life hack that I'm so happy I learned. So if you're like me and you're kind of pale and you want to make your skin just look a little more tan, not like orangey, but just like more of like a natural tan, what you're going to do is you're going to take the orange luminance and you're going to turn that down. And that's going to make your skin just a little bit darker. There's a life hack for you. Um, and then you can adjust the hue however you want. For this one, I don't think I'm going to do that um, just because I like the way it looks. So last thing I'm going to do is adjust the yellows, see if there's any yellows in here. You can see the restaurant right there is kind of yellow. So I think I'm going to turn the limits up on that just a little bit. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to adjust the temperature. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I don't like my pictures super warm, but I don't like them super cool either. Like it just depends on the picture, how much I edit the temperature. So for this one, I'm going to do it on, I think, I think I'm only gonna do it on two, just because a little bit goes a long way as far as temperature goes. And then for the vibrance, I always put it on 10 for every picture I do. I don't really know why I do that. I just think it also, that's something that helps it come together on my feed, because I like my pictures to be bright and vibrant, but also a little bit neutral, if that makes sense. So then saturation, I don't think I'm gonna really adjust. I might turn it down just a little bit so that it's vibrant, but it's not super saturated. That's kind of the vibe that I really like. And the very last thing I do, is I'm gonna adjust the grain. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to effects and then you're gonna go to grain and I typically put it somewhere between 25 and 15. For this one, I think I'm gonna do 25. And then lastly, I'm just gonna crop this picture down just a little bit so that I'm more center and um, there's not as much like, um, there's not as much ground in the picture. Do that a little bit. And there you go, the first picture is done and then you just save that to your camera roll. And there you go, that's how you do the first picture. So I'm gonna edit one more picture just to kind of show y'all that every picture is a little bit different but that I do use common techniques. So this next picture I'm gonna edit was also taken on my vacation. Um, it's just this floral picture right here so I'm gonna import that to Visco. So if A6 doesn't come with Visco X, Another filter you can use that I really like is C1. That one does come free, I know that for a fact. So I'm just gonna go to C1 and turn that down to, I think I'm gonna do it on 1.5 on this one. And then you can see the picture is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the exposure up on here to make it easier on Lightroom to edit. I think I'm gonna turn the exposure up one. Save that to camera roll, go to Lightroom, import the picture, Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. And then I'm gonna take light and turn, or I'm gonna go to light and turn the exposure up. So I think on this one, I want this picture to be very bright for sure. Um, so I'm gonna turn it up on one. Then I'm gonna turn the shadows up. I think I'm gonna do 25 on the shadows. Turn up the whites, turn up the blacks. Also turn up the highlights if you want to. And then go to color. There's a lot of pinks in this picture, so the first color I'm gonna go to is the pinks. Um, turn up the luminance on those. That always makes it brighter. I'm gonna turn up the saturation a little bit too. Um, and then go to reds too, because there's some reds in there. I'm gonna turn up the luminance on that. Go to orange. Turn that skin tone down if you're self-conscious like me. I'm gonna turn it down 
maybe like 10. So you can see that it's not a dramatic difference, but it is a little bit of a difference. So our memory card just filled up, so we had to go get a new one. But I'm going to show you all how I finished editing this. So I was talking about the oranges. So I'm going to turn the luminance down for this picture, maybe about 20. And then go to the greens, because there's obviously a lot of greens. Turn the greens down. Luminance up. And then the blues, turn those down, luminance up as much as possible. And then turn up the temperature on like, I think for this one I'm gonna do two. Um, vibrance on 10, and then you can adjust the saturation however you want. I'm gonna turn the saturation down to like negative four, I think. So last part is the effects, go to grain and turn it up. We're gonna do 20 for this one. And then just save that to your camera roll. And that is how I edit. So this app I'm about to talk about isn't necessarily an editing app, but if you wanna see what your pictures are gonna look like on your Instagram feed, there's this app called, I think it's called Unum. I think that's how you say it. I really don't know how to say it. But um, what it is, is it's an app where you can import your pictures, which you can already see that I've imported my last picture to look and see if it looks good on my feed or not. So you can import the picture that you just edited and see if you need to adjust anything to make sure it goes with your feed. And yeah, that's all you do. So yeah, that is everything I do to edit my Instagram pictures. I've been editing this way for about a year because I discovered Lightroom. And let me just tell you, Lightroom is a game changer. I used to only use Visco, but once I discovered Lightroom, like Lightroom will change your life. Visco is a really good app if you're like a beginner editor and you just want a basic like filter to help give your feed that like aesthetic look that a lot of people want. But after that, you can graduate to Lightroom. I just feel like Lightroom can really target specific areas of a picture that Visco can't really do. Lightroom feels much more precise, especially with the exposure and the shadows. You can, I feel like you can adjust it and control it just a little bit more than you can on Visco. So that's personally why I really like Lightroom, and you can adjust the colors better on Lightroom than you definitely can on Visco. And also, Unum is a great app if you want to just look and see what pictures are going to look like on your Instagram feed. Yeah, it's super helpful if you really want to see um, what your pictures are going to look like on your Instagram feed before you post it. Um, that's definitely helped me adjust like certain aspects of a picture, like if I see that maybe I have the temperature up too much in comparison to the rest of my pictures. Things like that, that's something that really, really does help. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I typically make a lot of vlogs, but I really like making these like sit down videos. I'm also thinking about making a video where I edit with iMovie because a lot of people are asking me how I do that. So I think making a video might just make it a little easier to explain to everyone asking. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Subscribe if you want want to. I try to post content weekly um, just because this is something I genuinely love doing and um, it's so much fun to me. I'm home from college for Christmas so I'm definitely going to be posting a little bit more content now that I'm home. I have more time to do things and I kind of have like a little creative space. Um, so yeah, thank you so so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.